Happy Mother's Day from uh, YHS on Monster Island. Jay, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. And yes, I echo your statement. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all the it's our Mother's Day monster episode. mamas. Yeah, it is. You know, it's perfect. It is. It ties in nicely. And this actually was a happy accident. We did not plan it that way. But we're like, we didn't plan that. Oh, oh yeah. I figured you planned it. Um, I, I actually, I forget about exactly when Mother's Day is every year. And I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, Mother's Day is coming up. Oh. We're talking yeah. about Gorgo. Jay did I this on purpose. purpose. I, I did not. You know, it was more the um, it was more all the talk like the Titanic creation stuff last week and everything. It just kind of brought it top of mind. So, yeah, um, yeah it's uh, but I'm glad we did. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm excited to talk about Gorgo a little later. Um, uh, I, I'm a uh, spoiler alert. This movie's awesome. <laughs> Are you do I redeem myself after the. I Space love Monster Wong Mogwi. Yeah, and you know, I've seen Gorgo a million times, but it's been a while. We, me and you had a conversation about how it's been a long time since we'd both mm-hmm. seen Gorgo, but had good memories of it. And uh, and I was like, as I was putting it on to rewatch, I was like, oh, watch this. God, I hope this doesn't suck. I hope yeah. my, <laughs> my memory is not wrong and this doesn't suck. And I, yeah, I, think, it, um... I think it's a great movie, so... Yeah, it was uh, it was a fun rewatch. I it, you know I also get very nervous when we watch a movie that we haven't seen in a long time, but we have like good memories of. Yeah, not even like you know. Oh well, I don't really remember all the stuff about like Gorgo. I feel like I I have watched it you know last month, even though it's probably been twenty years. Yeah, um, and it is nice when it doesn't you know make you. Uh, you know, at the end of it, when you're not like, oh, I have to rethink everything I've ever watched over the last three decades. Check in, yeah. check in to yeah. see how long it's got left. <laughs> yeah. is how I am on some of these movies, but <sighs> no, it was yeah, good. I'm, dude, glad, I'm, I'm glad we picked it up. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, but you know, before we get to that, we're gonna do the usual. We'll do. There's actually some new. We didn't have any news last week, I think, but uh, not a lot. We actually got a little bit of news to talk about. Uh, some pickups. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Jay, first of all, do you want to talk about, I don't, I can't tell what shirt you're wearing there, but, um, oh. I think we might have some oh, new yeah. shirts. Is that a thing? The, I don't think have? this one, this, this is actually a new Toku toy town shirt. Um, okay. So but, that's uh, not, well, we could put that one in the store too, but we do <laughs> sure, have some, I, I, I don't know if you have the, the, the below the collar link or for the, you know, for the new stuff or. I can pull it up. Oh, actually, you know, I don't know if it's actually officially. It up might not yet. be up there yet. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. Uh, we're gonna have some shirts on on a, on a new site. It's the shared like YHS yeah. site. So there's mm-hmm. there's a yes have some podcast stuff on there. There's toy anxiety shirts on there, and uh, there's gonna be some new Monster Island stuff on there. Um, yeah. other than that, do you, do you have any other um? Yeah, you know, not not a ton, man. Um, you know, I, I talked last week. Uh, you were so kind to let me talk about the Kaiju Go event, and um, and that was uh, really cool. And um, yeah. I no no major updates on that. Yeah, you know, no, we haven't announced anything mm-hmm. huge. With one exception, we did announce our first vendor that's going to be part of the cool little bar gallery upstairs. And for those that are big in the indie toy world, um, especially in the Southwest. Uh, Chance Priest, uh, Victory Comics, or Warriors of the Universe has signed on to uh, to be there with not only some of his cool, unique designer vinyl and designer toys, his kind of bootleg art toys, folk art, whatever you want to call it. It kind of blurs all the worlds together. He's also going to be bringing some of his vintage kaiju. Uh, so his collection is extensive and goes all the way back to the late 60s. So that's going to be really cool. So we were that's super awesome. excited to get him on board. He's uh, has a huge loyal following here, especially in, in the Dallas Fort Worth area and in Texas in general. So really cool to have him. And, and then in the next couple of weeks, we'll be announcing more really cool vendors, some artists uh, and some other things, but uh, it's still kaijugo.com If anybody's interested or in the area and want to, wants to check it out, but we're, we're really pumped. It's, it's get, you know, picking up some momentum here. Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, I wish I could be there, but uh, yeah, it, it's looking like it's going to be really awesome. Um, yeah. Jay, you, you, I, I'm looking at our notes here, um, yeah. and I, I want to tell you, I'm, I'm on like three other podcasts, and rundowns <laughs> is uh, having a rundown is unique to this show for me. Um, <laughs> we, we don't get that on YHS. Craig does not send us rundowns or notes. Um, we just. Yeah, we just press record and we go. Uh, so it's nice to yeah. have notes sometimes. But uh, you watch some stuff. I don't I know did. if you want to talk about yeah, some of the stuff you watched. I didn't watch anything. 
<laughs> you will because you're on 19 podcasts. I, I watched Guardians of the Galaxy. I watched Guardians oh, of the Galaxy nice. 3. And, I haven't uh, seen it yet. No spoilers. No spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. Uh, I'm trying to think. Nothing. I heard it's good. I mean, it's a Marvel movie, but it's good. Yeah. It's good you for know, a I'm... Marvel movie. They're they're not good anymore. No. You and I have the exact, the exact same thoughts on Marvel. Like, I, uh, after Endgame, I was basically like, yeah, none of it's been really worth they're, a damn since then. Like, I don't even go see him in the theater anymore. It's 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 um it's definitely the best thing since Endgame. It, I mean, it's Good. it's a it's a Guardians movie, you know. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, it's still fucking Marvel <laughs> piece of shit. Uh, what what'd you watch, Jay? Um, so the first thing I watched was on a. So I'm not a super sentai guy i'm not a power rangers guy i mean i when they first popped up in 93 i was like 11 12 ish so like i i watched it because i love monsters and stuff but like mm -hmm. it wasn't I, I didn't get into the craze and buy the toys and stuff i was a, a, probably a year or two older than most of the folks that were into it my cousins were super into it um but i did watch the the once and always the netflix um special because because i've the read powers, like? yeah i yeah. Uh, and i think i read the reviews that it was like it's nostalgia done right. 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 And so yeah. I gave it a shot and um, it was fine. I mean, it was exactly what I expected and, you know, tying into like, obviously the, the real life passing of, of the act actress that played like the, the original yellow ranger and all this other yeah. stuff. And it was, uh, it, but it was for a, for a power rangers type movie. I actually enjoyed it. It was a fun little watch. I, you know, I'm not going to watch it again, but it was fine. <laughs> I thought they did a, a really good job. But, you know, there were there was a giant monster in there. So I put it in Kaiju. Sure. Uh, yeah. I, w I will say uh, I, I want to give the listeners a little bit of behind the scenes. Jay asked if this should be if we should review this for the show yeah. since it's like kind of and I vetoed it because I don't want to watch that shit. I don't yeah. care about the Power Rangers. I've never really cared. I watched a little bit when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just not for me though. I was like, nah, yeah. I'm not, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> yeah. And so, but, but what it did though, so I watched that probably like the day after I asked you if you wanted to watch it. I was like, yeah, I, and I really watched it at, at not late at night. And I just put it on and it's short. And um, mm -hmm. anyway, but it got me thinking like, you know, like I've been putting off watching a lot of the other, the, the kind of second tier tokusatsu properties, like not Ultraman, not Kamen Rider, not even Sentai, but like, yeah. What about the other guys, the guys that we know, the imagery and we know some of the monsters in it but like i've never watched mirror man and specter man and fireman and all those mm -hmm. um and so i just went down like a little rabbit hole and started watching the first episodes of all these kind of second tier tokusatsu films like uh or uh, shows excuse me um i focused really on like the three I, I was very curious i wanted to watch mirror man and i wanted to watch specter man and i wanted to watch um uh, fireman because fireman had a lot of people that i knew from other tokusatsu shows yeah. um it had it had the guy um oh i forgot his name but in uh in godzilla versus mecha godzilla and terror of mecha godzilla the guy that plays kind of the chief simian mm -hmm. the chief black hole alien he's uh like one of the guys in there and it has the guy that plays aka ranger in the original sentai uh himitsu sentai go, go ranger and it has uh the brother with the cane in return of Ultraman, he's in on the team. And anyway, but it's all about like, it's like irradiated dinosaurs against fireman. Who's oh, like, an okay. Ultraman. And, and, and this show was, um, came out uh, for the 10th anniversary of Subaraya productions. It was one of the shows they released and it's one season. Uh, and I really liked it. I, I first I've, I've watched like three or four episodes of it. Fireman is probably my favorite of the three so far. Mm -hmm. Um, I did watch specter man just because I've seen so many images of the crazy, like bad guy, Ape guy. It looks like he's from Planet of the Apes, Dr. Yeah. Gory. Um, and he's so wacky and over the top. And so I watched a little bit of Spectre Man and it's it's goofy and fun. Um, and then Mirror Man, I really liked. I liked it a lot. Um, the actor that played Mirror Man was in one of the was in an Ultra Q episode. I can't remember which one it was. But anyway, um, so I've watched those. Uh, I watched a little bit of Iron King and some other wacky ones that just like on the. I think I own Iron King. King. I think yeah, I it, own it has the Milk Creek or Arrow. Yeah, yeah the... I think I bought it because I saw it like in Walmart or something. Yeah, like, well, let me buy this. I need it, but yeah, yeah. it's kind of goofy and, and fun. But um, uh, I I just really enjoyed kind of these more obscure, weird, not obscure to, to the general public, very obscure, but to the tokusatsu crowd not so much um and so i'm excited to kind of dive a little bit deeper in some of them yeah. i think i'm going to continue watching fireman that like I said that one held my interest the most um but it does tie into the pickups uh these okay. kind of 
your tokusatsu and I'll, when I get there. But that's what I've been watching, and I think I'm going to, you know, I, I'm still going back watching some Ultra Q because I am building out my top 10. I'm working on that as we yeah. speak. That's and big, uh, I have the top 10 done. I'm writing, scripting that out okay. right now. Um, but uh, it's been kind of fun and just like different and, you know, as opposed to just watching my typical kaiju fair. So, yeah, that's exciting. I, I want yeah. I want to check some of those out. I'm, I'm excited to see your top 10 Ultra Q because it was it's got to be hard. Yeah, I was going to say it's got to be yeah. hard because so many of those episodes. I know there's not even a ton of episodes mm, to pick from, but yeah, but 20 seven of them are great probably yeah. you know it's like yeah, it's been a while since i've seen them all but yeah so I think many of them me, are good episodes the hard thing with ultra q for me on the ranking was there's not a lot of separation like my number six and number 10 are basically i like them the same right mm -hmm. um also they're so different because you know when when i rank ultraman it's ultraman against insert kaiju yeah. and when i when i watch ultra seven it's ultra seven against insert alien. Right. But like mm -hmm. there's, there's something there, like they're all kind of the same similar style and build. Um, and there's some episodes that do things a little bit different and they're standouts. Well, ultra Q, everything's different. I mean, yeah. cause you have some that have monsters. You have some that have aliens. You have some that have no monsters or aliens. It's just yeah. kind of like a, yeah. you know, a, 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 a near balloon. future humanity or balunga, yeah. <laughs> um, which spoiler is in the top 10. Um, <laughs> but, um, but you know, but then there's some yeah. that like are like early, like Japanese horror, like devil child springs to mind. Uh, and there's some that are like uber surrealist, you know, um, like mm -hmm. the very last one, which is just wacky uh, with the Hideo Apamoto is in it as well. And it's pretty cool. But um, anyway, like there, it's just, everyone's so different. It's like, how do I compare these? And then there's some that are general kind of giant monster fair. And then there's some that are, you know, alien invasion fair. Like it's just very different. Um, and yeah. so, and also like, it's cool because, and I think this is kind of my, the thesis of like my ultra Q, like where it fits is like, it's so important because it's that linchpin between like older Toho. Cause you have these, all these actors that were important in Toho uh, in the sixties and stuff. They, they show up in ultra Q. Yeah, And then yeah. you also see like early debuts of people that would go on to play big roles in Ultraman, Ultra 7, Return of Ultraman, Mirror Man, all this. Like, so it's like you see, you know, um, like a Hiroshi Koizumi and a Hideo Yapamoto and stuff. You'll see those guys doing roles. Of course, Kenji Sahara's mm -hmm. star. And, yeah. and like you also see like a young, you know, um, uh, What's his name? The the dude that played uh, Shin Hayata. I forgot his name. Uh, Karube. I forgot his first name. Anyway, like you'll see him in there, and you'll see Ben Furia, and you'll see all these guys that will uh, that will be you know huge roles mm -hmm. uh, in Tokusatsu in the next year. Uh, and so it's kind of cool. It's like kind of that middle ground of like this the the end of the road for some of these Toho legends, and kind of the start of these Tokusatsu television stars right. that come out from Subaraya. So I don't. Know, I love Ultra Q's great. I just, it's one of my favorites. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. And uh, I feel like it's something we talk about a lot on here, even though we've never mm -hmm. really done like a dedicated. What's that important? Use of, it's so yeah. important, you yeah. know, and uh, it, it, it was like, it's been really fun going back and like re watching some of these. I've watched some of these episodes two or three times in the last month, you know, because yeah. as I kind of like, is this one really better than that one? And of course <laughs> you have to watch them back and, to back. To, yeah. I know. Right. And you have those wacky, you know, the really wacky episodes with like um, the grow up turtle uh, <clears throat> yeah. and, uh, and Canagon's cocoon. Obviously those two are always known as like, what did I just watch? You know? <laughs> what the hell? Um, but it's, uh, it's great. It's a great show. Yeah. Um, I'm excited about that. Jay. Um, Let's see. I, 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 before we, you know, before we go on to what we bought, just because it's on yeah. my mind, talking about watching that stuff, and uh, yeah. I, I just want to say, I, I watched, I rewatched Gorgo on Tubi. Okay. Um, and I, I own it, but I was like, this is just it's on streaming. I don't have to set anything up. <laughs> I have to walk all the way over it's to my free on streaming. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do this. But I realized that Tubi has a huge amount of monster yeah. movies and kaiju movies. And it's got a bunch of Godzilla stuff. It's got mm -hmm. a bunch of Gamera, um, a bunch of like American, a lot of Harryhausen mm -hmm. stuff, you know, like Which Jack awesome. the Giant Killer, like just tons. And I was just scrolling through like Reptilicus is on there. And I'm just like scrolling. And I was like, holy fuck. Tubi is stacked with kaiju. And I just think that's awesome. So anybody who wants to watch some free monster movies, Tubi has got a lot. 
and and then you couple that with Pluto, which has all which ties into the sh- or the Shout app for Shout Factory. Yeah, because well, you have Pluto, Pluto Shout, and you have all the Ultraman stuff and Common Rider. And, and Pluto doesn't Pluto have the channel where it's just like there's like a 24 hour channel of basically Ultraman yeah. stuff, and it just it's yeah. showing whatever you can't really choose, but it's just sh- constantly showing. Ultraman mainly, but yeah, yeah that's it's yeah, it's, it's it's because of their it's their tie in with like with the Shout Factory and took a shout, so it's kind of their their branded channel that yeah. I believe that floods into there. Um, but yeah, so like between Tubi and Pluto, you have your kind of overarching Tokusatsu genre cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no excuse. No, and, and then <laughs> some of the obscure stuff. You know, it's going to be on YouTube or it's going to be on like the the Internet Movie Archive or one of those. Like you, you can find it. I promise. It's just usually, usually, usually sites like Tubi. You're like, yeah, it's all free, but it's usually junk. You know, usually yeah. you're not finding movies you really want to watch on Tubi, but there is a lot of good. Yeah. Actually, so yeah, hundred uh, percent.